channeling like around the bottom. Around the whole room? Yeah. Oh. And then wallpaper around the whole room as well. This is kind of like a more ideal vision <laughs> rather than this <laughs> tiny scrap of wallpaper. <laughs> this is all they had left. I think this blends, but this is like... The blue is one's like, more wow. of a contrast. Yeah. Right, I think this one. It's so cool. But if you stand all the way back, it looks like really Dior vibes, and I think that's really cool. You look so tiny now. <laughs> <laughs> I do well like that on there. I don't know if it's because you're wearing a blue top as well that makes it... Yeah, do you know what? But My this one works good. really well as well, because this room is it's north-facing, so you get blue light. But the thing is, when we held it up against the bed, I thought the blue with the slightly cream headboard looked quite good, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, well, I think this headboard, this is amazing. I, I don't want to change the furniture or anything in the room, I think it could just do with like some texture on the walls. It's that or we just one wall go for panelling, like vertical panelling. I will pop the picture on the screen. One is much more neutral and safe, whereas this is like, if I don't like this, this is going to be a nightmare to take back down. Let us know in the comments down below, guys. <laughs> no, seriously, let us know, because we'll be here for the next decade trying to decide, and in, in that time we'll have gone through about a thousand samples of wallpaper and still keep coming back to the blue one. Where's that kale? Yeah, I think it needs to go a bit lower. I'm having to change where it lives because this guy is getting a bit too big for his boots. Bloody cabbage. I said, I said broccoli. Bloody broccoli. <laughs> vlog today it is monday i've got my little one with me we are taking a little trip today to the vets to get this one vaccinated it's funny because there's a lot of vaccinations going on in the world at the moment and my dog also needs to be vaccinated so yeah it's monday i had a lovely weekend we got some things like up on the walls that have been meaning to be done for quite a while we went to being q i'm sure you will have seen bits but i'll talk you through everything when i am home I made a crumble which was absolutely delicious it was so so good vegan crumble so yummy i made it from like i kind of just took inspo from my pig hotels book basically whenever i've looked up like vegan crumbles they're always really complicated they have like weird ingredients and like a thousand ingredients and they try and be really healthy and it's just not even you know it's not even going to be that much healthier and then i actually looked at like a normal crumble recipe and i was like the only thing i need to change is the butter just needs to be vegan butter so it was so easy so easy so quick and so delicious so I think I put the recipe and showed what I kind of altered on my home account on the stories. I'll pop it somewhere here. But yeah, I basically eyeballed it because I don't actually have scales. So I kind of know what the quantities look like. But, you know, as long as you get the right texture in the end, I just kind of like start off with less and add more if I need. But I got there in the end and it was so delicious. And the weather improved massively. Like the temperature is rising, like the minimum temperatures are rising just like a little bit every single day. So today I'm wearing open toed footwear. 
and my feet aren't freezing which is amazing but we've decided that because this little one needs to go to the vets that we will kind of take her early little kind of like lunch break this morning so i'm just waiting for ryan in the car and then we're going to take nala to the vets and then go and get a coffee we haven't really been like out anywhere recently we <laughs> we actually did go to my mom and dad's garden on saturday which was so nice but we haven't really been able to get like bookings anywhere because i'm just i'm not one to fight for bookings it's silly but we thought we'd go out for just like a little coffee a little snack and you get to come with us She's waiting for Ryan. She's very, very concerned that he's not in the car. So, just got home. I've actually returned home too many parcels. So I'll probably take you through those at some point. But I think I need to touch up my makeup because I have to film something for a brand for their socials. And I didn't really think about the fact that when I put my makeup on this morning that I'd have to wear a mask. I didn't plan on it because I wasn't planning on going into the vets with Nala. I thought that I wasn't going to be allowed in. And then they were like, oh, you can come in. And so I had to put a mask on, which is lovely because obviously she prefers it. If I am with her, she really doesn't like going into the vets with a stranger. But annoying because I'm now going to need to touch up my makeup. I think I'm going to change as well. Maybe into something here. I don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna do my makeup, I'm gonna film this little clip, and then I'm gonna take you through a couple of house updates that I've been so excited to kind of talk you through over the weekend. So I've gone back to this foundation. This is the YSL Touche Eclat foundation, which is just not gonna focus, wow, okay. This foundation is so glowy, like you can see how it hits on the cheekbones. It is just gorgeous. I do need a lighter shade though. This is shade BD40. Oh, and the brush I'm using is a Spectrum brush. This is the B02 brush. I have like the full set. I really like their brushes. They kind of, at first, they just look too perfect. And I'm like, whenever I look at them when they're brand new, I'm like, nah, that's not gonna be a good brush. And then you use it and you're like, oh, that is a good brush. Now I'm just applying some blush. I'm using this one from Bare Minerals, which is that peach though. It's really nice. And I just apply it to this kind of like high point of my cheek here. That's where like the concentration of the color is going. And then I kind of sweep it out in wider like circular motions. It almost like really hugs the highlight. And I love that about it. Also add a tiny bit to my nose and then take it up here a little bit so kind of like where the sun would hit you if you were actually outside and not wearing any SPF. Also this is the mascara I've been using at the moment, it is so good. Charlotte Tilbury Hello Talk Push Up Lashes, such a good mascara. I have moved over from Bare Minerals to use this instead because it just gives the most like fanned out fluttery length. The brush really like tapers the mascara off towards the end so they look like real. Everyone's gonna know that this is mascara, but they just look like full slashy. Next I need my lipstick, which is in my bag. I think it's in my bag. I've been loving this lipstick over the weekend. I pulled it out of my beauty storage drawer. It's like the most gorgeous nude peach. And it's like matte. These are the, what are these called? Powder Kiss lipsticks. This is such a cute colour. It's perfect because it's not a brown nude, but it's not like a bright, colourful kind of colour. Like it's not a bright peach. So it's that perfect, like in between it's spring, summer, I want something appropriate, but I don't want to wear like a bright lipstick. I'm really enjoying it. It works really beautifully with the blush as well, I think. finally going to talk you through a few of the house bits from the weekend. I'm going to make this a very quick one because I'm squeezing in an afternoon walk before my upload and admin this evening. <laughs> Busy Monday. But anyway, firstly, we have this lovely piece of artwork up on the wall, which I am just loving it being here. I know a lot of people aren't gonna like where I have placed this piece of art. Lots of people really wanted it, excuse my washing, lots of people really wanted it on this piece of wall here, but because of the way the kitchen is laid out, everything kind of flows, even like the kitchen. If you've seen my kitchen tour, if you haven't, I will link it somewhere up here. Everything on the kitchen falls to this side, like the whole kitchen up here, all of the seating, everything. It's just the way the room is laid out. Like there's less of the room here, obviously, because it doesn't go as far to the right. So I wanted something that's not only going to balance out the weight of the room a little bit better, but is also lovely to look at from 
the user's perspective, not just from a guest perspective. So I spend a lot of time in like this area of the kitchen, like right where I am right now. And it's just an absolute joy to look at. This is where I will get the best view of it. So that's where I've decided to put it. I'm loving that decision because wherever you are in the room, you see this piece of artwork. Like even when you come in from whatever way you come in, whatever way you move in the kitchen, you see it. And it does weigh the room out beautifully because obviously we've got the kitchen on this side and then we actually do have something to look at on the other side of the room now and I just love it I'm so happy with it there's also a window opposite so in the evening when the light comes through it actually shines onto this and it's got flecks of glitter which I don't think you'll be able to see now maybe later but you get like these little glimmers of sparkle in the evening and it is just beautiful so yeah I'm really enjoying it here we also popped into being cute and whilst I was there I picked up some paint samples purely because you'll know if you've watched my kitchen tour that this room the color of it is just not my favorite it could also do with some touching up after us having moved in anyway and I just think the gray could be a little bit less lilac so I picked up some samples so we have off-white ammonite cornforth white and skimming stone they could all be really wrong but i'm going to paint them on like some pieces of card move them around maybe paper i'm going to look up what is like better for like what you should paint it on like what gives the truest color i've actually got a good feeling about skimming stone and off-white but we'll see they are the warmer of the two and i do think that this room could just do with a little bit more warmth i'm also hoping that they'll be slightly lighter than the current color as well because i don't know if you can tell like when it's contrasted with a white you get like the best kind of idea of how gray it is let me put my camera settings on how they normally are yeah that is like a true representation of what is going on in here. It's very gloomy, so I'm hoping we'll be able to find something to brighten it up. And whilst I was in being cute, I also <laughs> got looking at wallpaper. So you will have seen this from the clips over the weekend. Maybe I've been watching a bit too much Three Birds renovation on YouTube. Maybe I've been watching a bit too much Scotland's Home of the Year. I don't know, but I've always said that I wanted to add some kind of panelling to this wall of the room because it's just, oh, let me show you. This room is not its tidiest right now because of all the clothes, but we'll just roll with it. When you walk in, there's not really a lot bringing your eye up. Everything in this room is kind of in the lower half of the room. The light and the mirror are the only things giving it any kind of elevation from the lower half of the room at all. And I've always just thought that maybe paneling all the way up this wall could really help to draw your eye up. So I wanted to add something to the top half of the room to draw the eye up. And I really didn't want artwork, like I'm not, the biggest fan of just sticking art on blank walls like if it needs it if it's like a space that really benefits from it like this space here i feel like it benefits so well but i felt like a piece of artwork would then make just this section of the room really heavy and then we have lots of like blank space still on all of the rest of the walls and it doesn't make sense and that's where i came to adding paneling halfway and then maybe some wallpaper on the top and i thought whilst we were in being i i'd just have a look on the off chance at what there was to offer and I saw this. You will have seen from the weekend there was another one that I really liked but this was my favourite when I put this on the wall Ryan and I were just both like wow that looks incredible. It looks lovely when you like lay the wallpaper behind the bed as well but also in conjunction with all of the white furniture in here it just works so beautifully and a lot of you will know what a fan I am of blue and white tones even just in my personal style so it's really nice to maybe incorporate that a little bit into my home there are a lot of blues that are kind of incorporated already into my home I have my blue chair my big piece of artwork which has a lot of blue in it and I think it works really really well with this house I also love the fact that you can see into my garden from this room so the wallpaper is really beautiful in terms of it opens out onto the garden and it's a very like garden-esque wallpaper it's even got like these plants that grow in my garden it ties in really beautifully so I have actually already ordered it just in case I might change my mind and then I'll return it but just in case because I know this video is going live quicker than I will do this project I wanted to pick up enough rolls to do the room just in case yeah that is arriving tomorrow and Ryan is actually super up for helping do the paneling in this room so I think it is a go and I think the paneling will be so cool as well because we'll have a shelf I'll put in a little inspo pic it will kind of act as a shelf going around as well I think that would be amazing on this wall as well because this wall is such a vast blank bit of space which I might one day put a wardrobe up against but even then I think it would look so cool and then I think it would also tie in really beautifully over here as well so I think we're just going to do the whole room 
on the top half and then the paneling on the bottom. I would love to hear your thoughts because I think that this is going to divide opinions massively, but I just thought I'd have some fun with this because why not? It's just such a big room and I really think it can take such a busy wallpaper. If not, I'll take it back down. I'll get a different one, we'll see. But I feel like this is just something that I want to try. We also finally got the curtains up in here. They arrived, I think a week or so ago. And they're the same Ikea curtain pole and curtains that were in my office. It definitely does block a little bit of light out of the room, but it will allow me to kind of like change in here for videos and does just give a little bit more privacy. I think it will actually look really cool once the rail is no longer there. We are making our way through Depop. I actually have a whole section on the end of clothes that I just need to put away. <laughs> it looks worse than it is but for now at least I have somewhere to change and throw my clothes between shots which isn't my bedroom because I like to keep this room a lot tidier <laughs> also just in case anyone wants to see the outfit that I'm wearing today this is a little sneak peek of the H&M order that arrived at the weekend and it is so gorgeous i got this like cohort set from one of h&m's new spring collections and it is just absolutely delicious it has a matching set of shorts on the bottom which are sadly a little bit big for me but i just like roll them up and they're really really cute today i've gone with my zara pinstripe linen trousers which i just love and they work so nicely with the top they're just like different enough that it makes a really interesting combo with like stripes and then like a floral print it's a real print clash but they are like similar enough in tone and material that they work sadly going to have to change into my active wear now though buy a cute outfit hello Oh, you want a belly rub? Nala has gained, what was it, five kilos? Have you gained five kilos? The vet said that she's put on COVID weight. <laughs> bashed her head on her bin and now looks like an absolute turnip. I can't believe I'm gonna have to film the rest of this vlog with a bump on my head. <laughs> God's sake. My recycling bin, it's got a very big toilet <laughs> and it fell on me. Hello everybody, it is Tuesday. I've had a mildly productive day so far. I did a workout this morning, tidied the house. I've now made so much mess that the house is no longer tidy, so that's great. Filmed a few reels, had some lunch, read a bit of my book. This is what I'm wearing for the day. I think it's from Pretty Little Thing. It's like a kind of like a sweatshirt material midi dress, which I love. And it's perfect for the weather we are currently experiencing where it's actually kind of like mild during the day. This is like perfect. I sat out in the garden and read my book in this and it, because it's black, it obviously draws the heat in. So you're a nice temperature, even if there's a bit of a breeze, it's beautiful. And it's really compensating for the fact that I don't really have that many jackets that actually look good on me anymore. It is a real struggle right now. I'm not really sure what to do because it's not really the season for buying coats and jackets. We've kind of like the high street has kind of skipped that because of lockdown. And it also would have been like a couple of months ago that I should have been looking for these. So I have a couple of trench coats and that's literally it. Everything else is like swamping me. So this is going to come in very handy over the next few months when it is a little bit chilly. Side note, something I did actually want to say whilst we're on the subject of coats, I get a lot of DMs at the moment that are like, can you give me some outfit ideas <laughs> for when I'm sitting outside like a restaurant and there's no heating and it's like freezing cold in the evening. I want to look spring, summer and cute, but I also want to be warm and Honestly guys, please wear your coats. I literally want you to be like a little, like bundled up snowman. Snowman? I don't think snowman is the right analogy because snowmen are cold. But anyway, I want you to be like a snuggly little bunny. This is not the season for hypothermia. Please just wear all the layers. Like if I'm going out for brunch in the day, I can look cute because the sun is out at the moment. The wind is minimal. It's lovely, like it's a very mild temperature, but please 
please <laughs> just bundle up don't look cute there are a few girls i've seen that have been doing like expectations versus reality of what they'd like to be wearing to dinner in the evenings and then what they're actually wearing it's like huge puffer coats and i rate that because it's the season to just like have fun with your friends and family catch up like don't worry about being cute because it's cold right now. It is so cold and there are lots of places in the UK. London's quite good, but lots of places like my surrounding areas that don't have great gardens, they don't have great outdoor heating. It's cold. It is cold. And honestly, anyone north of London, I don't understand how you're doing this. I was talking to Josie earlier and she was saying it's like frosty at night and we're only dealing down here. I'm like the furthest south you can get. We're only dealing with between two degrees and five degrees at night. So... I'm doing okay down here, but I don't know how the rest of you are coping with sitting outside. Like, I'm just not doing it. I'm going out for brunches and lunches and like early afternoon tea type shindigs if I can ever get a booking anywhere, but I'm not going out for dinner and freezing my bum off. So I hope that answers the question. I just don't have a solution for wrapping up warm right now and looking cute. I don't even really have coats right now as we've established. So I did actually pick up a black trench coat on that note because one, I felt like it was something I was missing in my wardrobe in terms of like a trench coat that wasn't a million miles long for when I wanna wear like flats and things like that. But I also wanted a jacket that actually fitted me so yeah I'm gonna show you that and a few other bits now so this is the black trench coat from H&M it's basically like a duster coat I haven't worn anything like this really in a long time like a proper like dustery coat lots of my trenches have been a little bit more structured but I actually really like this it's gonna be like that perfect spring summer jacket I actually wore it when we went out for brunch yesterday I threw it on over the black trousers and a black ribbed top that I was wearing and honestly I didn't need it because it was actually so warm but this would be a lovely one for that same outfit but if I'm going out in the evenings or even if I'm just wearing like a simple body and then jeans during the day and I just want something to throw on it will work really nicely on a casual basis with like trainers it's just going to be an absolute staple for me it also looks cute over the top of my midi dress and it just fits well like it fits well on the shoulders i tried on one of my favorite black blazers earlier from zara and i swear the padded shoulder actually comes like this far off my body i was like did this used to fit like this because i'm confused so i'm now also on the hunt for a black blazer that actually fits as well which is great but yeah very happy with this this is going to do me very nicely over the next few months then from the same h&m order i also have this little set it's so cute h&m have just done this whole floral collection and i love it there's actually like a bandeau dress with like a really fitted top and then a floaty skirt in the most beautiful floral pattern they do it in this pattern and then in like a slightly bigger floral pattern and I was so desperate to get my hands on it but sadly didn't but I did get my hands on this set and it's so sweet I really like this top because it actually goes with so many other things in my wardrobe and surprisingly so do the shorts I paired them with a yellow like a really creamy yellow cardigan that I've had for a few months now earlier when I was just doing some try-ons for a reel and it worked so beautifully. So I think both of these will work really well separately as well as together. Also, just for reference, I got both of the top and bottoms in a size eight and then the duster coat was in a size small. The only thing I would say is these are very loose. So I probably could have done with a size smaller on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is just pop my brown ASOS belt around the middle and it should cinch it in perfectly. So let's do that and I'll show you how it looks. I just feel like it will kind of help with the shape of this a little bit. So as you can see, it's kind of bunching at the front at the moment, but I can just pull that around. So yeah, then it sits a little something like this. I quite like it. I know some people will probably prefer it without the belt, but it's definitely helping in terms of just like bringing the shorts up a bit and giving the waist a little bit more structure. And also I plan on having like a pizza garden party soon. So these, will be my go-to shorts because they will expand beautifully. Next up we have a few bits from Zara. I actually took some of your suggestions and picked up the jumpsuit in an extra small. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like now. I'm just not sold on it. I think I need, if I'm going for like a shirt tight jumpsuit or play suit, I think I need long sleeves. But I'll show you guys just how it fits. If you haven't seen my Zara haul, I will link it. Also got this lovely cream kind of e-crew toned dress it is not white it kind of looks on camera like it's white but it's actually coming off much more yellow to my eye and there's an actual dress below it which is like white so you can kind of see the difference and then i found another like this is a play suit not a jumpsuit which i also picked up in an extra small but again it has short sleeves so i don't think it's going to be love however one thing that i do really like and this was like the main reason for my order and then biting the bullet and ordering this in the smaller size was this midi dress which has like a sweetheart 
neckline and then these two kind of like straps that go up around the neck and loads of you will know that i love like a midi bodycon style dress and i just thought this was gorgeous because it's like a ribbed material so it's like super comfy and stretchy but it has almost like a little dressiness to it and i really like that and then after that i have some bits to show you that and other stories have very kindly gifted me so i'll show you those in a sec as well so this is a midi dress i'm obsessed it is just perfect it fits so well i really don't have a lot to say about it. It is so comfy, it's so like nice and stretchy and just really cute as well. It hits at a really good length for me and I think even if you're taller or shorter it will still hit on a good length as well. I've got a size small in this and I think the sizing is perfect and because it is stretchy you can just take your regular size, you don't have to worry about sizing up. I've got to say the blue jumpsuit in the extra small is a much much better fit. I still think it has too much material around here and that's not particularly flattering like and the crotch hangs so low like yeah that is a lot of excess material i think that's partly what makes it not so cute basically my body doesn't have enough length for this this is designed for someone that has maybe like four more inches to the length of their body so yeah i just i don't think this was made for me sadly but the extra small is a lot better so if you did like it i would say to size down so sizing down might not have solved the issue with the blue jumpsuit but it definitely did with the white halter neck dress from Zara. This one fits so much better, I got an extra small. And like I said in the previous video, it's tapered it in more at my waist and just fits so much better. Though, that being said, it is still not loved. Like, I think it is beautiful, but I just can't see me wearing it. Even though, like, I just think the cut of it is so classic and beautiful and really, really timeless. But I just can't see me getting full wear out of this. Maybe if they do it in a different color or print so that i could be like yes christenings and weddings and this and that but because it's white i'm like mm, this is a very specific occasion that i will be wearing this particular dress on i don't think there'd be enough occasions for me to justify keeping this in my wardrobe so yeah this one's gonna go back but just in case anyone was wondering sizing down did fix the issue and then this is the little blue play suit i would love to know what you guys think of this one i'm really not sure i got it in an extra small because I thought that it might be the same situation as with the jumpsuit and I was very right. I think this would be huge if I got it in the small. I can't work out whether sleeves like this just don't suit me. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I love the colour. I love this blue colour and I really just wish this had like long or three quarter length sleeves. Three quarter length, let's go with that. We don't need long sleeves. Just a three quarter length sleeve would be so gorgeous and just make it a little bit more timeless and also a little bit more wearable. And then we have a few bits from around other stories. We've got this gorgeous shirt in like a, somewhere between a pale lemon yellow and like a custard kind of yellow, which makes it sound disgusting, but I think it's gonna be so cute. We have these gorgeous earrings. Oh my god, I love them. They're in a really beautiful light gold as well, which will go really nicely with my little heart necklace that I have from them, actually. Then these trousers, which just look lovely, and I think they'll work really beautifully with the shirt. They may be a bit long, but hopefully I'll be able to take them up. And then, oh, these shoes. These shoes are just amazing they're in a lovely ecru color like a cool toned very light pinky tone and they've just got the really thick band across the bridge of the foot and then a little like flip-flop bit in between the toe which i personally don't mind and then a really cute little chunky heel also here is me in between takes <laughs> i got distracted because this dress from we are king got delivered and i was like i need to put this on my stories right now <laughs> so <laughs> i've taken a brief hiatus in between you would never know unless i pointed this out but i took a brief little hiatus in between the try-ons to take photos of this dress because it is just so stunning i love it i will link it this dress is stunning the quality is incredible like this material is just absolutely beautiful i am a big fan of this i really like the back as well how you can like tighten it and loosen it depending on like your chest size that is just goals and i think i might be able to take the bottom up which would be nice because then i can wear it more as like a summery kind of like dressy vibe yeah it's just stunning I highly recommend checking this stuff out it's beautiful i think i could really do with this dress in all of the colors quite frankly it's like such a timeless classic okay so the trousers are a little bit big on the waist however i'll take it for the fact that look at this length Short girls, you need to get involved with this. I'm so confused, are these meant to be like cropped? <laughs> this never happens. I mean, yes, I'm wearing like a slight chunky heel, but let me show you without. Like, hear me out. Normally, I've got like an extra five inches 
going on with trousers. This is good. Like, I'm shocked by that. The outfit also works really well with my and other stories. Little kind of sandals, which is great. I love the kind of yellow and yellow. Not one for color coordinating all the time, but I think here it just kind of works really beautifully. But white would also work really nicely as well. The top fits so well. I'm very happy with this. I also really like the fact that the straps that go around the waist, they kind of thread through here and they have the same thread on the back as well. Like it threads through a little bit here. I don't know, it's just really clean. I really like it and you could just tie it the once and have like a little detail like this or you could wrap it as many times as you like really. You can have the bow at the front. I chose to do the bow at the back and tuck it under the um, trousers just to give it a bit more of a cleaner look. But yeah, I think this is kind of cute. And finally, these are the shoes and they are sadly way too big oh hello you brought me your duck is it that time of the afternoon where you're like please pay me attention i have like dog mum guilt just because we're at home together all the time sadly we don't get to do the things that you would like to do do we i'll be back with you in about half an hour when i've worn her out good morning everybody i have just finished filling out a lot of tax forms the hand is out. That is how much I hate filling out anything like form related. It's just not my vibe. Throw it back to this time last year and me filling out all the forms for the house and I genuinely thought my brain was going to explode. This is why I never want to move again. I just don't want to fill out any forms like that again for the rest of my life. But I got there in the end and I've just realized that I have an outro this week's vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed just like, I'm going to vlog the weekends more because I really enjoy watching them back and just seeing all of the little like snippets, even if it's it's not one big like cohesive piece of filming like I really enjoy watching the beginning of this vlog back it's just so cute and it's a real like reflection of my weekend I just loved it also I watched my chat back where I was obviously talking about like styling for the freezing cold and I just want to make sure like no one thinks I'm coming off as patronizing but I basically it was just I want us all to focus on family and friend time and actually enjoying yourself rather than worrying about what you look like there will be points in the year where you know we don't, just don't need to worry about you know the temperature and we can all go out and just have some normality and you know the weather will cooperate but right now the weather is not cooperating obviously we all know how to wear our coats and when i was watching that i was like well yeah obviously hon but yeah i just wanted to emphasize the importance of having a good time with your family and friends and just catching up rather than worrying about what you look like and anyone you see out that is like looking cute and just wearing like a light jacket or a blazer it is either brunch during the day and they're having some very good weather they're sat under a heater or they are lying <laughs> i am actually filming a I wore in a week at the moment which will hopefully give you a good overview of what I am wearing at the moment for the temperature but yeah I just wanted to come in with that little disclaimer because I watch my videos back twice a week and I critique myself on your behalf but on that note I'm gonna end the vlog I hope you are all having a lovely week and I hope if you're from the UK you are all taking the new restrictions at your own pace because I definitely am feeling a little bit overwhelmed by everything at the moment but yeah I hope you're all having a lovely week and you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye